Hello viewers, today we are going to see how to uh, redirect uh, my all actions that I uh, hit from my uh, website uh, to redirect to the particular action. So uh, how to achieve this uh, is the today topic so we are going to see. So here I have a, a home controller. So the home controller inherit the controller called base controller but it uh, if you want to act a home controller as a controller so you should inherit the controller so instead of that I am created one controller called base controller this is my base controller this inherits the properties of controller so if you call the base controller anyways this uh, it will have the property already inherited the controller so it will act like that so now I try to hit my index page so instead of uh, hitting my view uh, and it returns as such a result so uh, like this so I don't want like this so this is my index view so index view have such a uh, data so instead of that I want to uh, redirect to some particular action so what particular action uh, called about okay we will take this uh, uh, action so if you try to hit something uh, index page uh, it, it should uh, redirect me to my home uh, without a uh, uh, doing any redirect or click the link so whatever the action i try to hit it should be so how to achieve this yes we can so normally controller provide you the um, option uh, called on action executing so on every action executing uh, you can write your own method before action executing on action executing so uh, in on action executing while try to execute this action first it will uh, go and hit my uh, main uh, controller uh, property so uh, that uh, where it will be um, I will going to show so I just have my my base uh, method of on action executing that I going to inherit now all right okay so uh, i going to uh, inherit my uh, an on action execute okay so then it it accept the filter context so normally on action execute uh, it will uh, have some uh, basic uh, contacts uh, that will uh, uh, come out from the basic properties that i will show you what what actually the filter context uh, basically it is like a type of a model or it will uh, by it have the few details we'll go inside and i'll show you because i don't want to go deep about that so so if we have an uh, so it it will see once we we try to hit my controller controller so uh, it will fill all the uh, properties of action so that is what the action context it is so so just understand this is on action executing uh, the uh, the some uh, properties some details that is uh, be add up as a action. Uh, action results or action contacts that is what the filter context we are mentioning here okay uh, so default return so what I going to return so default uh, um, I'm asking my on action executing please return or please redirect to the particular action that I going to written here okay I'm getting some error okay uh, I'm trying to change my product order to public so that's what uh, it's throwing the error let me go and uh, change to product and mode okay uh, set the uh, sys modifier to product order. so you can't uh, keep uh, public because yes because uh, base class have product uh, virtual method so that is I am more writing so okay fine so let's uh, go and uh, do the stuffs so uh, I'll create one um, a property called okay that I'll keep as public public uh, need to redirect something like that uh, default I set uh, false okay fine oops uh, on sec okay so 
Okay, here. So okay, no need to uh, make it complicated. Let me keep uh, as a false, so that value you can uh, use anytime. True. Okay. If you can write some check condition, need to redirect. Filter contacts dot result equal to new. new redirect okay or something like this okay i uh, i will okay i think this uh, won't work yes so uh, it's uh, just to help us to okay uh, just to add a property called a root value so this is a routing so i'm using the perfect uh, mechanism so to add about return okay so what i done uh, so uh, on action executing whatever the action executing if uh, my redirect is true so i just go and added the filter contacts dot result so what should be the my filter contact result so please redirect to the particular action so this will change my uh, uh, routing result to this so that is what all about so let me go and keep a breakpoint here and here yes i will see how the things is working so let me go and attach my process okay my breakpoint is hitting i am try to access my uh, home page so uh, it's uh, hitted my so on action executing so uh, let me go and quickly run this okay yes it is true so my uh, filter contacts if you go and uh, expand that so my filter contacts have the following details like action description what is action action parameters controller and display mode and http context is child action is a parent action view so all the ba uh, basic property of action it's uh, coming here so let's quickly move out that and then finally application db context is created check checking because uh, default your database okay i just uh, skip that so all like action uh, execution it's doing such a process then it is okay so uh, it's keep executing let me skip quickly okay uh, so uh, it's redirecting me to the home about so if i try to uh, hit anything uh, so home slash index so i'm trying to access the control but it's redirecting me to the home about so home slash contact page yes it's redirecting me to the home about so this is the way guys uh, to do such an operation so um, you have to add uh, add uh, the result to your um, so you need to uh, overwrite uh, your redirecting result with the new uh, action under controller then it will works so ho hopes you understand so on action executing you want to do some uh, sub steps parallelly with the action or before the action execute you can do such a things so you can pause this condition uh, while uh, hitting the controller only
then it will work so this you can add it to the web config so something uh, if your site is down or uh, you want to have uh, some uh, uh, site is under con construction something like that so you can confer this and whatever uh, they try to add the URL so that will show the particular action that action contains all the details of why you are redirecting to only one action so hopes you understand thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before to get a more updates